In this week's lesson, we saw how God shut the mouths of the lions to save Daniel. God protects his people and uses them to tell others about him. The last couple of weeks, we've been talking about Muchi and Daima Nukibu, who are telling people about God in Miami, Florida. A few years ago, they started a church called The Brook. Here's a photo of members of The Brook Church gathering together to hear from God's Word. People in their church come from many different countries and speak many different languages. They want everyone to feel welcome and to be able to grow in their faith in Jesus. In this unit, we've also been talking about prayer walking. A couple of weeks ago, I shared about what prayer walking is and why it's important. And then last week, we talked about ideas of things that you can be praying for as you pass by specific places, such as houses or hospitals or even trees. This week, I would like to share a few suggestions for you and your family as you go prayer walking. As you prayer walk, it's good to go with at least two people, just as Jesus sent out his disciples two by two. If you're going with friends or inviting other families to join you, gather together and pray as a group first before you break off and prayer walk. Pray with your eyes open, watching for things that will prompt you to pray. Use scripture in your prayers. Don't be afraid of silence. It's okay to walk and pray silently for a time. Smile and be pleasant to people you meet along the way. God may be working in their life. Pray for them. Singing is often a natural way to pray and praise. Be flexible and pray as the Holy Spirit leads you. And finally, write down or share your thoughts and experiences with your family or friends you're prayer walking with. 